Hello students, today we will learn how to draw isometric view of a cylinder. So let me write down the question first. Draw isometric view of a cylinder of dia 50 and height 60 mm so in the previous lecture we have learned about uh, isometric of cone so similar steps we have to apply in this particular solution also so what you will do again you will take your scale and you will use these grids to draw a thin line of 4 to 5 centimeters then after that place your protector on one of the dot and draw two lines at 30 degree on both sides you see 30 degree here 30 degree on the other side so line your scale with these two points and draw a thin line line must be continuous thin at the start it can be of any length because later on we will cut it to the equal to the diameter of the cylinder so next is we will cut both the axes equal to the dia of the cylinder which is 50 so make use of the scale open compass to 50 millimeters and cut these axes to 50 so from these two points again draw two arcs of 50 each in this way you will get an intersection and join these intersections to complete the isometric view of a square of side 50 so this is a isometric view of a square of side 50 so in this we will apply the method which we learned in the last lecture for center method so for that what do you need to do you have to mark the midpoints of all the sides side is of 50 mm so midpoint will be at 25 again use your compass open compass equal to 25 millimeters and mark the midpoints of these sides make sure at the start everything should remain thin now bache we have marked all the four sides midpoints of the sides now we have to locate the two centers first now you see in this particular box we have four centers so we will target only those corners where angle is more than 90 so we will call this as front center first center this is second center so now from these two centers we will generate two more centers so what is the method from first center draw thin lines to the midpoint of opposite sides Now you see from the first center two lines to the midpoint of opposite sides from the second center two lines to the midpoint of opposite sides so in this way we will generate two more intersections so we will call it as center number three center number four so let us apply four center method so what we do in four center method place your compass at this center first equal to this radius this radius and draw arc keep it thin at the start same radius but this time put at center number one and draw another arc so now put your compass at center three and this has radius draw the third arc which will join the first two similarly on the fourth center draw another arc so after this what we have to do we have to locate the height of the cylinder which is 60 so for this particular height we need to apply one method called as box center 
box method so what we will do in box method we will raise all the four corners of this box equal to height of the cylinder so place your scale at this particular corner of the box in vertical position and draw a thin line of 60 millimeters then from this corner of the box draw a thin line of 60 millimeters then similarly from this particular corner make sure your scale is vertical so must align your scale with the grid then from this particular corner as well so when you will draw 60 millimeter line from this particular corner it will stop somewhere here so let us join these four points with the help of thin line so in this manner we will be able to generate a box or you can say isometric view of a box whose sides base is of 50 and height is of 60 millimeters so now what we will do in order to generate cylinder we have to repeat same four center method on the at the top face of this box so it means now this is center number one this is center number two because angle is more than 90 here more than 90 here now what next mark the midpoints of all these four sides so again side is of 50 millimeter so midpoint will be 25 so open your compass to 25 and mark the midpoints Now for this what we have to do we have to join these points like we did in the previous step so from center number one draw thin lines to the midpoint of opposite side then from center number two draw thin lines to the midpoint of opposite sides so again we will generate center number three and center number four so with these centers we will again draw four arcs so place your compass at this center this has radius draw the first arc one thing to understand this time that uh, this is the top face of the cylinder so it will be visible to us so we should draw all the arcs thick in the first attempt only now from the second center and this has radius draw thick arc then what we need to do from the third center this has radius join these two arcs with the another thick arc Make sure you should uh, locate the centers properly sometimes when we don't locate the midpoints of the sides correctly then we get wrong centers and uh, so we get error while drawing these arcs so right now I'm getting a little error because I am not able to join the arcs properly so I have to adjust a bit see So in this manner you will get the top face of the cylinder what we need to do we need to join these two arcs with the help of thick lines these are this these line these lines will be tangents to the arcs so the last step is that we should make this portion of the curve thick So you see the isometric view of the cylinder is complete. After this we have to replace the isometric dimensioning. So similar method 1mm gap continuous thin line 1mm gap continuous thin line. Then align your scale with this axis, this axis roller scale especially roll back by some distance draw the dimension line 
closed field airways on both sides so 550 so again line your scale with this axis extend it over here extend it and choose this particular grid and draw a dimension line so over here we will place 60 millimeters one more thing bache in isometric views it is very important to mention these angles that we have drawn these two lines at 30 degrees so i hope this lecture will be helpful for you thank you very much